Hello, and welcome to the Microwave Engineering Lecture titled End Port Networks. In the previous lecture, we derived equivalent voltages and currents for different devices. Once such voltages and currents have been defined at variance points on the microwave network, we can use impedance or admittance matrices of circuit theory that relate this terminal or port quantities to each other. By doing this, we are arriving at a matrix description of the network. If we represent the network in this manner, it can lend itself to the development of equivalent circuits of arbitrary networks, which are very useful when we discuss the design of passive components. We may begin our analysis by considering an arbitrary end port microwave network as shown in this figure. The ports, which are shown here, can be any type of transmission line or a transmission line that has a single mode. At a specific point on the port, a terminal needs to be defined along with the equivalent voltages and currents for the incident defined by the positive signs and the reflected defined by the negative signs voltages and currents. These terminal planes are useful as a phase reference for the voltage and current phasers. At the terminal plane, at each port, the total voltage and current is given by this, in which the voltage at a port is equal to the incident voltage plus the reflected voltage, and the current at a port is defined by the incident current plus the reflected current. Now, it is obvious that Vn and In are related through impedance. In fact, all of the voltages and currents in any combination of ports are also related. The voltage at the I port is related to the current at the J port through the impedance of the N port network. This is how we define the impedance. We can measure Zij by driving port J with current IJ. We leave all the other ports open so that all other currents are zero and we measure VI. For any combination of ports, we can define an impedance matrix Z defined by this that relates all of the voltages to all of the currents. We can also write this in compact form as this. Likewise, we can also define an admittance matrix Y that relates the currents to the voltages. We measure the admittance element Yij by driving port J with voltage Vj. Short circuit all other ports so that all other voltages are zero. And we measure Ii. Notice that the impedance and admittance matrices are related by these expressions. Here are some useful network classifications. If the network is reciprocal, meaning that there are no non-reciprocal media like active devices, ferrites, plasmas, etc., it means that the impedance matrix Z and the admittance matrix Y are both symmetric. This means that Zij equals to Zji. This means that the impedance matrix is equal to its transpose. The same goes for admittance, where Yij equals Yji, and also the admittance matrix Y equals its transpose. Now for the lossless classification, if the network has no loss, then the real part of Zij equals the real part of Yij, and both are equal to zero, meaning that Zij and Yij are completely imaginary.